Mr. Van Gogh, Mr. Royer, we recorded the following. And here's to hoping for at least 10 more years with you. Looks like my life is still the preferred candidate. Another day, another team caught trying to leave our country illegally. Remember, if you have any information, please call the Sonia Hotline. Hello, Sonia Contos here. Welcome to the Sonia Show. On today's show, we'll take a look at our nation's booming oil industry. With the help of our Minister of Oil, we recorded the following. And here's to hoping for at least 10 more years with you. Looks like my life is still the preferred candidate. Another day, another team caught trying to leave our country illegally. Remember, if you have any information, please call the Sonia Hotline. Hello, Sonia Santos here. Welcome to the Sonia Show. On today's show, we'll take a look at our nation's booming oil industry. With the help of our Minister of Oil, we recorded the following. And here's to hoping for at least Ten more years with you. Looks like my life is still the first time again. Another day, another team. He had this letter in his journal. I guess his daughter was fond of reptilians. That guy's seriously disturbed, Stan. If anything happens to sweet Sonia, I might just go crazy! He says he's going to act on his kid's birthday. Today marks the anniversary of Lola's death. In exactly two years, I will take my revenge. Do we know when that was recorded, Stan? Yeah, sometime in 1994. So, uh, we know the girl's birthday. Asking us for help? I thought you were the whiz. Oh, the 
That's it! It all makes sense now! You're a genius! Deepest apologies I showed you the beast earlier. I don't know what I was thinking. We still need to figure out what this guy looks like. And where the attack is gonna happen. But, uh... You know, now we're making progress. Yeah, we are. Here's your cash, kid. It's best to honor one's promises. Stan and Mitch rules. The ladder near the TV. Just climb it. Now get! But, uh, before you go, maybe you want to ask us something? Sure is. That's why Mitch and I don't venture yonder. Uh-uh. Don't venture yonder. Yeah, guess that would be a bummer, wouldn't it? what I'm doing. Just hacking into Super Supper to give everyone in Petria a free burger. Those capitalist pigs need to spread a little wealth around. What about you? Dang, girl. You hungry. 
Been on the road a while now, huh? Well, guess I'll get back to hacking this Burger Megacorp. You should take a snooze on that gnarly pillow behind you. Gonna need energy for the road. Depends on your fiscals. But word is, there's a psycho cabbie dude out there. Oh man, that'd be kind of nice. Allie, you there? I'm here. That's not a phone. It's my computer. Not bad, right? Built it myself. This is safe, Alex. Totally safe, Mr. Ursus. Like always. Fourteen. But I got crazy skills. Other dogs want to be this dog. Know what I'm saying? I'm about to switch on the... You know what, Alex. And I need to know if there are any... Uh, you know what in the area. gonna level with you. Maybe it's stupid to do so, but I feel like I can. Mr. Ursus has an illegal radio, and he wants me to check on the cops to see where they are. I heard that, Alex. Ain't gonna lie, it has its benefits. Sorry, Mr. Yu. Can't help you today. Too busy trying to make it rain beef. No worries, because homegirl here on the bus can. Don't worry, yo. It's simple. Even an adult could do it. Go ahead. Turn the scanner on. radio. Thank <laughs> you. 
Turn the dials till you hear something. Signal meters need to be very bright. By the way, Mr. Yu, when are you gonna tell me more about my parents? That's part of the deal. About that, Alex. Uh... Yeah? We'll... We'll talk soon. Promise. You say that a lot. <laughs> Yo, you're picking something up. Unit 8, you copy? Alva. Unit 8 here, camped outside the gas station. Not up for now. Over. Keep looking. You got donuts? Alva. Coast is clear, Mr. Yu. They're still at the old spot. Broadcast away. Mr. Yu finds spots where he can do his little radio show. You should hear his radio voice. <laughs> Cracks me up, man. Thanks, eh? And, uh, homegirl? Beside, eh? And Alex, make sure you reach out to your mom, okay? I'm sure she misses you. <sighs> sure. Whatever. Thanks, homegirl. Here. For your help. Now. Time to give the citizens of Petria free beef! And... BOOM! Oh no! Trojan horse is down! Well, at least 347 people got free burgers. I can live with that. Next up, coming up. the plan, right? Yes. Totally. Let's do this. Uh, guys, is it me? Or is that kid over there listening to us? Nothing to see here, kid. Nothing to see here, kid. Where is he, Sonia? It's almost time. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I insulted him one time too many. Look, 
Find someone to film this, and now, you know how important this is to him. Where am I gonna find a loser to... Hey! You there! It's your lucky day. Sonia has a job for you. Perfect! Then you're my new camera operator. Now get behind the camera. Time to make some effing magic. This is just a little puff piece on the pump, Cuddle Muffin. Nothing to it. We have a second you want to, like, talk to me. Like, get my take on something important. The more money you got, the better. Sometimes, I withdraw money from my account. Just to hold it. Then I put it back in again. some close-ups and what a beautiful and strong pump it is like our nation like our president speaking of our president let us cheer him to show our appreciation nice one dumplin Flores. Flores believes we should abandon fossil fuels and take away your jobs what do you the hard-working people of Petria think of Lupe Flores I said, what do you think of Flores? Good, cutie pie. Real good. There's been a lot of talk of a brigade uprising. But am I worried? No. I've even let my teen daughter embark on a road trip. President Tyrak will keep our nation safe. Praise President Tyrak! <laughs> said, who you vote for? Tyrak is a liar! Teens are being imprisoned every day! Tyrak is a fascist dictator! Vote for Flores! Save our country! Stop them! Now! Run! I'm here, Sonia. Oh, shut up. Well, it's about 
time to drive off in my limo. Like all good journalists do when they finish a story. Look, to sum it up, your intro wasn't half bad. In fact, you did a good job the whole way. Here, buy yourself a new... everything. Well, I do believe it's time to go, sweet cakes. Adam! Let's roll! so long I've lost sight of right and wrong mm. When you left an open door I couldn't help but explore So I took off with no plan Thinking I could find a friend Hands. I hope this moment never ends It feels so cold out on the road And on my own waking up No strings attached, no looking back from Long shore waves to desert skies And all the hostility, it's normal the police would get violent Wait, you're saying the police are justified in using violence? You're here. Now I'm not the only one subjected to this. People are looting, Jeff. What good will come of that? Looting is reasonable when the system is so broken. Do you think they always talk like this? Ah, so gross. I guess I can't have this conversation with you, can I? So, you're one of us, aren't you? You're trying to cross the border, like me. I can smell it on you, literally. Let's talk about something else, then. Think they know what we're really up to? <laughs> I know. Adults are so enigmatic. So, I got an idea. Let's play this game I found and listen to some music. Here, take my Walkman. Wait, have you played before? I like to know my opponent's strengths before crushing them. <laughs> A challenge, I like that.
beat me. Well, I suppose it was time I finally lose at something. So, do you like the music? Don't worry about hurting my feelings. I'm a big girl. I've got all kinds of tapes. Here, so you remember me. To start a new life. No, to have a life. My dad thinks I'm lucky to have a big house and go to a prep school, but I'm not. Believe me. Yeah, you could say that. Look, I'm going to tell you something, okay? Maybe I shouldn't, but I feel like I can trust you. My father is the minister of oil. Keep it down. Did you kids say something? Uh, just that you have a great van? Thanks. Oh, I feel better now that I've told someone. I wanted to tell this one kid, but we got kicked out of our campground before I could. Uh, can you go back to thinking of me like you did before? As this exquisite being you're lucky to share oxygen with? Whoa, not cool. Hey, kids. Uh-oh, good luck. Can I ask you something? I was wondering, would you say you're political? Uh, no, not really. What about you? Someone who has opinions on the events in the country. But you're leaving because Petria has problems. And please don't deny you are. For real, Jeff. <laughs> anyway, because you are leaving, you two are political, at least according to me. Ugh, the shame. So since you are... Jeff! Almost done. What are you gonna do to change this place? I don't know either. Yeah, maybe nothing can be done now. So depressing. What's certain is, it's the youth who are gonna make change happen. If it happens at all. Finally, we agree on something. I'm sorry to hear you say that. Oh no, road control. You go over the speed limit? No! I mean, I don't think so. Everyone stay calm. Kids, let us do the talking. Road control, ma'am. License and registration. <sighs> Happy to help however we can, sir. Sir? He's nothing but a road control zombie. Those your kids? No, sir. Just giving them a ride. I see. <laughs> You all right, little lady? You seem a little nervous. Say, you look like one of the kids on the missing posters. Well, just to be sure, I'll need to see your papers. What if we were to make a donation to road control, sir? A donation? Well, for a donation, I suppose I could look the other way. Thank you, officer. Wait, wait, you're not really gonna pay this guy, are you?
It's people like you that are ruining this country. Excuse me? Be quiet. Oh, come on! This turd in a uniform isn't gonna do anything! That's it! You're coming with me! What have you done, Zoe? Ah, don't touch me, What pig. do we do? I don't know. I don't know. Stay in the car, girl. Do what he says. I warned you, didn't I? Lucky it's not you I'm interested in. Sometimes, you and your brigade friends. What did I say? Now, get in your filthy van and find me a light. I feel like having a smoke. Hot and cold. 
I used to play it with my daughter. Tick-tock. The game has started. Call. Call. You're burning up. You're burning up. Warm. Warm. Call. You're burning up. You're burning up. You're on fire. Guess you forgot I had a gun. You're burning up. Warm. Call. You're burning up. That's a good brigade. Now. I have a surprise for you. You like surprises, right? Grab the can. Don't look at that. It's private. Good. Now, put gas on everything in the van. Everything! We're gonna watch it burn! That's the surprise! Just stalling. Go! But tell the other brigades I'm coming for them! For what they did to Lola! Go! And remember, tell them!
not the talkative type, are you, young blood? What'd you say? Ah, just kidding. Feel free to start a conversation, okay? Mm, well, it's dangerous, that's for sure. trucks at the gate and don't make a sound. That part's very important. Hey, I'd get your hand out of there if I were you. Got your ears on? Over. Ooh, that's Mama Bear, young blood. We got a CB type thing going on. I've never actually met her, but I think I'm in love. We got CB nicknames for one another. I'm her papa, she's my mama. I want to ask her out, but I've been out of the game too long. Can you help? Thanks, kid. All right, I'm going in. Hi, beautiful. How's my CB crush doing today? Beautiful? <laughs> well, if you say so. I'm all right. Oh, but my boss is writing me about this illegal transmitter. Beats me, kid. Guess the brigade's got a secret radio station? Honestly? I'm starting to think a ghost is moving in. Speaking of transporting, what are you hauling today, Papa? Something just as intriguing. Pineapples. <laughs> Young bud, it's going well. I'm gonna ask her out. Any advice? Like this? Mama Bear? Aren't you getting tired of talking like this? Oh, you... You don't want to talk anymore, Papa? No, no. What I mean is, we, we should meet in person. Look, we got a nice CB thing going on, but I got to meet you, Mama. Oh, uh, I don't know, Papa Bear. What we have is nice, but maybe it is time we met. 
You're not messing with me, are you? No. Name the time and place. I'll be there. Woohoo! Yeah! Get in the back. You know how to handle a nail gun? These those I think they're gonna get my pineapple. Ha! You can't legally carry a gun, so you'll have to shoot him a nail. Oh, that? That's uh, nothing. Shoot the lock to open the doors. Take him down, young blood! Alright, sing! You'll live! You think of a time and place? Young Wood! Think Mama Bear likes seafood? Papa Bear? I'm here, darling! You like gumbo? Damn! They're back! Show them no mercy! What road are you on, Papa Bear? We got a call. There's a shootout on Route 220. Oh, really? Get him off, Buck Easter, young blood! to our date. Me too, mama. Don't I know it. Young bud, I'm gonna have to drop you soon. But it's been a blast. I appreciate that, young bud. I hope you reach your destination.
Oh. Snacks and drinks? Can I help you at all? I wanted to cross, but I don't have enough money for a coyote. Maybe I'll just go home soon anyway. Oh, thanks. I can't thank you enough. Oh, good luck with everything. Some items to help you on your journey. Special 10-year commemoration of the collapse. There's some never-before-seen footage there. Of course, I've sent him out on the road. I've sent a few here, too. But the real protest here will go down on election day. Kid, you've got to show more discretion. There are guards here who'd like nothing more than to arrest us. Can we trust you? Okay. There are rumours of old tunnels that lead to the other side. They're said to be off the path to my left. I hope you're not claustrophobic. I hope you find your freedom, kid. We'll be rooting for you. I'll let you. Maybe I won't. And why should I? Give me a good reason. How do I know? The enemy is getting smarter all the time. Fine. You can go. But I don't like your attitude. Wants to know. Have a nice day. Yes, but I don't have enough money. Finding your freedom can be expensive. Maybe I should just give up anyway. Maybe you're right. I just need to find a few bucks. Thank you. See that door back there? Some kids say it leads to an abandoned tunnel. It's rumored you can cross by using it. But maybe it's just a trap. Something Tyrak uses to lure teens to their death. Mm, if the shoe fits. Take it easy. You're not gonna open that door. Not without my help. I've been watching officials on this path for some time. It just so happens one dropped their access card the other day. Made this huge magnet, see? But that's not important. 
My point is, the card's yours. For a price. <laughs> Two reasons. Claustrophobia and Cleithrophobia. Well, fear of being trapped on the ground. Good luck down there. I heard it's just a dead end anyway. You were a guard. Please, don't shine that at me. My wife and I came down here to cross. These are our boys. She went off to look for a way out when we got stuck. At one point, we heard gunshots. She never came back. I don't know what we're gonna do, and our food is almost out. I hope you do. Good luck to you.
freedom. Nothing is more important, but there are many others in Petra still looking for it. And their journeys have only just begun. Sonia Sanchez here. Welcome to The Sonia Show. As many of you know, the Brigades have a secret mobile radio station which they use to spread their fake news. Well, for years, the person transporting the station has evaded capture. But viewers, I've learned the authorities are closing in and now believe the station is being moved by a truck driver. We remind you there's a $2,000 reward for any valuable information. Come on, people. Let's bring this criminal to justice. Well, you may have heard the rumors that a teen fled our country using abandoned tunnels running under the wall. The story is false. I was told this by no other than our great leader himself. No tunnels like this exist, said Tyrak. He even joked that if they did, he'd use them to avoid the traffic jams at the border. <laughs> now let's take a moment to look at the latest candidate polls. Looks like Tyrak is still the preferred candidate. Nation, vote for Tyrak. Nothing less than our democracy is at stake. As you know, the Sonya Show is very concerned about our youth who continue to mysteriously disappear. Let's view today's missing teen report. Remember, if you have any information, please call the Sonia hotline. The hotline is available 24 hours. Transfer me out of you know where. The the iron pits where Tyrek sends all the crossers. They're brainwashing and torturing kids. I saw it. Get get the van keys from the cops. But you'll need to to distract them somehow. Then come back here. Thank you.
know how many times I've called for a tow this year? I don't. Guess how many times? Fine. Three times. Nope. Four times. Can you believe it? going on hello does anyone copy where'd that kid get to I see her is so messed up. I'll go back to my father. Uh, to jail, and possibly... I'll, I'll get my dad to save you. I'll say... I don't know what I'll say. Look, maybe... Maybe you should rest. You'll feel better. Just... just try to get some sleep. And when you wake up, I'll know what to do, okay? <gasps> you hear that? See you in help! They're gone, but they'll be back, and with friends. Lucky we intercepted their comms. Check the van. The girl must be inside. Please, don't hurt us. Got a second kid in here! The less you know, the better. But, Zoe, you should come with us. Wait, how do you know my name? Did my father send you? <laughs> Definitely not. We'll explain later, but right now, you two have to split up. You... You, you risked your life for me. Yeah, maybe. Zoe, we have to go! I, uh, I hope I get to see you again.
Can you hear me? What's that noise? It's a bug messing with the connection. But don't worry. Prepubescent Einstein here is going to fix it. There. That help me a sec, homegirl. I got a bug I need to fix. Yo, we live in a quid pro quo society. What happened to altruism for the sake of altruism? But yeah, fine. I'll give you a little something something. Who are you talking to? Don't sweat it, Mr. Yu. It's just a hitchhiker. Mr. Ursus. He's a friend of mine. Take this computer. I put a metal detector on it. Check the ground near the pole over there. Should be some hidden keys to open the box and reboot the line. Petra Calm hides their keys like a dog hides a bone. Shouldn't be long now. Let the beeping guide you. The key should be somewhere near the pole. Nice find, yo! Hello? Hello? We're doing what we can, Mr. Yu. to reboot the line. Pretty dope metal detector, right? What you waiting for, homegirl? Thanks, yo. You hear me now? I do, yeah. So, as I was gonna say, the fake emitters are all in place. Should keep those pigs busy for a while. Thanks, Alex. I put up some fake radio emitters to help the brigades. They got an illegal radio broadcast. The fake emitters throw the cops off. I gotta run, Alex. Wait, wait, my parents! Sorry, kid, now's not the time. We'll talk soon, okay? Promise. Don't hang up! Yo, press the button again! Are you there? Too late. He's gone. I'm fine. Just a little frustrated. I'm looking for info on my bio parents. And they died when I was young. In the attack in 86. But... I haven't come up with much. Thanks. My mom... I mean, my adoptive mom... said I might not find out anything. 
but I didn't believe her. She's at home, or on the road doing her job. Come on, let's wait out the rain in the booth. Precinct 22, Officer Fanny. Hello? Alex? Is that you? Yeah, it's me. Is everything okay? What do I say? Everything's fine. I just wanted to check in. Are you getting enough to eat? You are, right? And you can come back whenever you want. You know that. Yeah, I'm getting enough to eat. Thanks. I... I hope you find what you're looking for. I miss you, Alex. Look, I should go. Oh, already? I'll call again soon. I promise. I love you. Bye. Bye, baby. Come on. It's cramped in here. I feel better now. Thanks for encouraging me to call. They fight for what they believe in. I can respect that. People say they cause the peak to collapse. But I think that's BS. You? Sometimes you gotta be radical. Especially when you're living in a dictatorship. I still have a few things to clean up around here. By the way, there's a cereal bar in my bag if you want. You look hungry. Oh, and I can call you a taxi too. I hacked into Happy Taxi, because I can, and got some free ride vouchers. It's as good as done. And good luck on your journey, yo. Hope you reach 96. You were back there. So where are we headed today with Happy Taxi? Teens can be so spontaneous. I don't like that. Now sit back and enjoy your ride with Happy Taxi.
All that belonged to the last customer. I'm sorry for the mess. He left that behind, too. and myself, the sight of blood and I faint. Not a lot gets by you, I can tell. By the way, everything I'm telling you is the truth. We're called Happy Taxi, but we could be called Honest Taxi, too. Maybe you have some questions about the road. I can help you with those. Hmm. You could say I'm not a fan. I see. That's not for your eyes. I have that for a home project. You shouldn't be this close to me. Enough. Now sit back and stay seated. Enjoy your ride with Happy Taxi. No. Sorry. I didn't. Gonna turn the music up now. Do you like dinosaurs? I don't think so. Did you say something? Oh, I see. Oh no, I think I have a flat tire. Better take a look, sit tight. Okay. He's gonna kill me! <laughs> I don't wanna die! No, no, please! What did I say about disturbing the customer? around for a little while longer.
good, flippin' tire. Just some car trouble, kid. What are you doing out here? You changing the subject on me? Well, if you got any advice, I guess it wouldn't hurt to hear it. Then have at it, kid. What are you? A tire whisperer? Hey, don't stop there. The pump's behind you. You know, you remind me of my son. He's always fixing things. Always breaking things, too. Here. Thanks a lot, kid. Gotta say, I'm impressed. Uh, just my luck. Come on, follow me. Yes? They don't bother me, unless it gets violent. You could say that, yeah. You could definitely say that. With you? Hmm. That's all right. No offense. Yeah, maybe you're right. It's just that my son my adopted son ran away. I... I knew something that he didn't. A secret. And when I told him, he got upset. I told him who his biological parents were. Or as much as I know about them anyway. I always told him I didn't know. I was lying. It was hard on him too because of who they were. They were members of the Black Brigades. The terrorist group responsible for the attack at the wall. about the attack in 86, right? That's the day I met my son. Yeah, I was working security, hired to protect Iraq at the wall's opening ceremony. Everything was going fine until it wasn't. I barely saw the truck before it crashed into the mountain. Just a flash. Next thing I knew, rocks were falling on the crowd. It was awful. You have no idea. The screams. Everything was just so terrible. At some point, I, I looked down and there was my son, silent, covered in dust, looking up at me. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I, I picked him up and brought him home with me. I just had to make sure he was going to be safe. I had to. I look 
What's in the papers for months after? Search the missing children reports every day. There is nothing. It's not unusual for brigades to cut ties with family. I do. What other explanation is there? I... I guess I deserve all this. I kept the truth from my baby. Thanks, kid. I appreciate you saying that. I do. Central to Unit 2, do you copy? Over. I should get that. Look, kid. I don't know what you're up to up here. Just promise me something. Turn around and go home, okay? Your parents miss you. Thank you.